Hey guys, this is Jay Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Paper Mario. In the last episode, Peach joined our party, and we can do a very satisfying um thing with the umbrella. Just floating along. And I like how how Peach's heels click when she's walking. That's very satisfying. Um, I don't I wasn't wanting to go in the elevator. Um yeah. We're gonna I think we're gonna have to go back down because that was not my plan at all. Hold on, is this is this what we need to do? Huh? Is that what we need to do? We're looking for a heart pillar. Now I think um shoot, how do we how do we Let's see. Okay, never mind. I thought it would let us flip but I guess that doesn't work in flip side. Um now I don't know where to go, to be honest. Since we got lost and had to go up that elevator. But yeah, what we're doing right now is looking for a heart pillar. And we have to find a place to put the key. So wherever that goes. Okay, this is where we were at. So he said that we should be able to use it near his house. So we're looking for a place near his house. I don't know if it's on this floor or if it's on another floor. Let's go in here. Why not? Um. Yeah, there's nothing in here. This is just the fortune teller's place. Okay, like, come on. Why would he say that it's near his house if it's not? Maybe it's in the inn? I mean, you, you really never know where um, the important places are going to be. But anyway, I hope everybody's having a good holiday and... Um, no, I do not want to save. I just started playing. Yeah, there's nothing in here. And I also hope everybody has a good, um, New Year's. Since I'm recording this on New Year's Eve. Let's go in the item shop. Why not? Good day. Um, no, there's not. See, there's really nothing we can do here. He's. Come on. I mean, did I take what he said too literally? Because he said that I should be able to use that key near his house, right? So why. Why would he say that if it was a lie? Um, let's go downstairs, actually. Because I don't think we've been downstairs very much, so there's probably something down there. Ooh, there's a fountain. I just love how the sound that Peach's heels make when she walks. Um, let's see, I think this was the pastry shop, wasn't it? Now, there's this thing. That looks like a, a DS. But I guess that's not the key. Or the gate to the key. Let's see, here's a very art, artsy person's house. This look you are sporting, is this what Z kids call in? 
Now that is for mine. I shall incorporate this into my next brilliant creation. Aren't we? The trendy elements I must add them more and more for that is what top creators do. Okay. Okay, guy, you need to calm down. Um. Yeah, what's. Let's see, is that all that's up here? Now, I'm pretty sure, like, I saw that heart pillar, but there was nothing I could really do. Wait, can we go down another? Oh, we can't go down. Wait, are there. Is there some stairs, maybe? No. What's in here? Is this the old people's home? Looks like it. Ah, oh, okay. Yes, you you can you can flip between dimensions. You just have to be Mario. Okay, because I thought for sure that we flipped in flip side before. Man, this is getting really... I, I really hope that we figure it out soon because... Um... Because I don't want this episode to be too long. So maybe if we flip... Here... Aha! Um, excuse me? There we go. So yeah, all we had to do was be Mario. That's like the only... That's honestly the only thing that was holding us back there was... Um... Let's see, can I... I want to go and... Hold on. I really want to go in that pipe. Because I'm sure we're going to need to use Peach at some point. I don't know when. Um, come on, can I... Oh, I know what I need to do. Hold on. Where? How? How do I change back to Mario? Change back to Mario. Oh, okay. There. Maybe if I just um go to the three dimension. Well, all this does is puts us behind the pipe. There is a sign here. Let's see what the sign says. Flip side outskirts ahead. Okay, let's change back for a minute and then we are going to go check that out. Oh, this looks nice. Look at these trees. They're so hexagony. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, let's see. We can. There's a pipe over here. So maybe go in the pipe. Is there anything behind here? That's what I'd like to know. No, nothing. Okay, so we're gonna go in the pipe. Yeah, this is cool how they use, um, all of the platforming stuff in this game.
how you can switch between 2D and 3D. Oh. Okay, well, at first I, I didn't like the idea that we um, went down, that we fell down, but we get treasure, so I guess that was a good thing this time. Okay, I want to jump over that. And I want to... Yeah, I want to stomp that enemy. <laughs> what does this sign say? Hey, hero, fooling stomp, try flipping. It's pretty basic. And, of course, they want us to go this way. All right. Let's see what's over here. Let's stomp some more enemies, because I think that makes our level go up. Okay, so we're trapped inside of a, a thing. Um... There has to be a way to get up there that I'm missing. Well, of course we can... Heart pillar ahead! The best route... The best route, you ask, float across the stone tops. Alright, so in this case we need... No, we don't need to do that. I, I'm trying to figure out which buttons I need to... There we go. You press 1 and 2 at the same time if you want to change characters. So, yeah, this is where Peach comes in handy. I knew she would come in handy at some point. I just didn't know um, when. So see, look, this heart pillar is empty. So whenever you see an empty heart pillar, that means you have to fill it up, I guess. And of course it's common sense, but like I said, it, it like it's been a while since I've recorded an, an episode of this, so I always have large gaps between my recordings. Um, okay, we need to get back now. Let's see. Let's change back to Mario and go back. So just like any good RPG game, um, the different characters that you play as have different abilities, so... It makes things interesting, to be honest. Let's see, is this the way that I came? I don't think it is. Wait a minute, there's a secret here. This goes up. I don't think we can ground pound. I wanted to ground pound, but... Yeah, I don't think we can ground pound in this game. Okay. Wait a minute, this isn't that just where we were at? I'm getting lost now. Um, okay. Let's try doing this again. I don't think anything is over here though. Wait. Maybe we do need to go this way. 
I'm so lost. Oh no, that's... I'm pretty sure that that was the way we had to go to get the heart pillar. Okay, let's just go this way. And... Aha, uh -huh, here we go. This is the way we needed to go. And we made it back just in time. And since um we've already opened the next gate, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and check it out and see what new dimension we unlocked. Let's see, this was the first door, and this is the second door. With Princess Peach at his side, Mario set out once again, bound for adventure. This time, our heroes were tasked with finding the mysterious charmer Merle. If Merlon was right, then Merle was the key to finding the next pure heart. Never one to flinch from danger, Mario set out to find Merle's mysterious mansion. But little did he know, the evil works of dastardly Count Black are waited at every turn. Oh boy. So now we are on Chapter 2, Bogging to Merle's. I wonder what this world is going to be like. Ooh. Is this going to be one of those underwater worlds? It doesn't look underwater, but, it, but that kind of looks like seaweed. Um, the pure heart is somewhere up ahead. Yes, it must be, but it could be a ways. Let's go. I kind of like this world. I like the colors in it. Oh, I, I really I don't know if I've said this before, but I really like how abstract they make the world in this. Oh, it is a water world. See, I was right. Okay, this might be where, um, or maybe we can... Yeah, I don't think we can use flipping here. I think this is where Peach comes in handy. See? I mean, just look at that seaweed. And look at the, the interesting shapes in the background. This is, this is why I, I love this game so much. I mean, I have, I've never finished the game and I've never... Oh gosh. I messed up. I've never finished the game before. I've never played it. This isn't like the first time I'm playing it. It's a... It's a blind playthrough, but... So far, one of the things that I love the most about it is the fact that um, they use all these abstract shapes when creating the world. Aha! Uh -huh. So see, sometimes we need to use Mario, and other times we need Peach. And you can also see, like, um, some of the some of the worlds in Mario Odyssey are kind of abstract in a way too, like the Lost Kingdom.
Oh, a treasure chest. That's very Zelda-like. Considering... Um... You know, we just had to defeat the enemies to get a key. So this place is called Gloom Valley. And this water looks like... It reminds me of bubblegum. I don't know why. But yeah, I love this new world so far. Um, oh wow, windmills. This is interesting. Sweet. Oh cool, look at the, look at the peaches. Those are the classic peaches. Okay, as much as I like this new world, I'm going to end the episode here. So, in the next episode, we are going to explore more of Gloom Valley. And probably, um... And probably find out, you know, where we have to go next to get the pure heart. So, I will see you guys then. Goodbye, everybody.